Star Fam. <laughs> How are we doing? Let's get into this show. Um, child, this ponytail about to come off already. Um, I wanted to talk to, to you guys about this earlier, but as you guys know, if you weren't here for my last live, your girl is booked and busy. God is good. God is good. So we're talking about it now, giving us time before Bachelor in Paradise. Oh, wait, I don't know. Which one is next, guys? I know the Bachelorette is going to be in the fall, right? Yeah, Bachelorette is going to be in the fall. And then what are we getting now? Are we getting Bachelor in Paradise or are we getting Senior Bachelorette? Let me know. Because I'm like, I know something is coming for the summer. It seems fitting for it to be Paradise, but who knows? Who knows? Uh, let me get into the comments. Uh, hey, Denard, how are you doing? It was a wholesome finale. It had one little hiccup for me, but outside of that, it was a wholesome finale. Hey, Nisha. Nisha said, hey, Star Family, I have missed your recaps. Congratulations on being back on set. Thank you, guys. It felt so good. It felt so good to be back. Keep shining and uh, being blessed. So happy for you. Thank you so much. Will you re recap the Nickelodeon documentary? Yes, I will. Here is the thing, guys. Um, as someone who like is thankfully currently working in this industry, I don't know how much I can say. Um, so I'm finding the words and when I can find the words, I will say how, how I feel, but I feel like if you've been here long enough, you know how I feel. Uh, but yeah, it's just, you know, just being careful. Hey, Megan. Megan said, hey, Nikki and Star fam, the racism Rachel endured was despicable. Absolutely. And I'm glad it was addressed at the Women Tell All. However, I felt Jesse and the show minimized her experience by making it about hate. I absolutely I absolutely agree. And we will definitely touch on that. Hey, Lisa. Lisa said, greetings all. Hi, Nikki and Star fam. So glad to see y'all. Hey, T. Kennedy Reads. T. Kennedy Reads said, this is a live I've been waiting for. And I caught it live. Amen. Thank you for being here. Hey, Mama Star. Hey, Simply Simone. If Simply Simone said, I instantly thought of you. <laughs> it's about damn time. Janelle said, hey, Nikki and Star fam. I'm so upset that Joey, Joey did not pick me. Me too. But I digress. I'm so happy we finally got an Asian bachelorette. Me too. As soon as she was announced, I was like, yes. Then I was like, ugh. Buckle up, sister. Buckle up. Alex said, hi, Nikki. So glad to see you back. Congratulations again on the Netflix show. Praying continued blessings will come your way. I'm incredibly excited for you. Thank you so much. Hey, Spincy. Spincy said, hey, Nikki and Star fam. Joey is still the best bachelor and fine as hell. I'm glad he didn't pick Daisy and she's not the bachelorette. So happy for Jen. Me too. Me too. Uh, Denard said, the way Daisy said it's not me broke my heart, but she handled it well. The way she dressed in that finale, I thought she was the next bachelorette, but so glad they had uh, that that Jen has it. Absolutely. Hey, Adriana. Oh, why? Do you know why there's no Bachelor in Paradise? Why is there no Bachelor in Paradise? That's crazy. That's their best show. Oh, okay. So it's saying that Chris Hansen said that it would be returning, but there's no confirmation from the network. So yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything that says that it's not coming back. All I have is the stuff about Chris Hansen. Late, oh, they say late 2024. Oh, this is from Screen Rant. I ain't heard, well, I'm waiting for ABC to say something. We will see, we will see, but it's their best show. Do y'all remember, it wasn't Bachelor in Paradise. I think it was like Bachelor Pad. Do y'all remember that problematic show? It was problematic as hell, but it was good TV. Adriana said, no, we're getting the Bachelorette. They already announced the men. Oh, so the Bachelorette is, oh, this early? Wow, okay. Okay, next year? 
2025? That's crazy. Uh, CM said, let's do Bachelor in Paradise and Senior at the same time. Listen, a Bachelor in Paradise Senior, are y'all ready for all them old people to be having sex? Because that's what's going to happen. Them old people be having sex, y'all. That's what's going to be happening on the Bachelor in Paradise Senior Edition. Uh, Simple Sam said, the word on the street is that Bachelor. Oh, my gosh. Kaya said, hey, Nikki, love seeing you back on set in uh, your live recaps. Thank you so much. Also, thoughts on Cowboy Carter? Oh, that's coming. That's coming. If not Thursday, Friday, absolutely. I have, I have thoughts. <laughs> hey, Greta. Hey, Susan. Oh, they're the bachelorette now. That's Susan, not Siri. Go away. They're filming the bachelorette now. Oh, this is so quick. This is so quick. Oh, my God. Hi, Christina. How are you? Missed you, too. Spencey said, the way the quiet on set doc made me upset with all the adults present, especially that mom with the pics, um, plus Drake's mom. Guys, that's very prevalent in Hollywood. Like, the parents in Hollywood, not all of them, but a lot of them are garbage. Eva says, hey, Nikki, hey, Sarpin, we back again. We sure are. Nisha says, no worries, so many other topics to talk about. I'm here to laugh and smile. Oh, thank you for being here. Bria, Bria said, popping in to say, hey, glad to see your face. Going to be part of the replay gang. Amen. Thank you for being here or stopping by. CM said, what do you think about Rachel saying she's going back to only dating black men? <laughs> Well, 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 are we coming home? No, sorry. <laughs> um, what do I think about it? I get it. I get it. I listen, I was I told you I was on them interracial streets <laughs> and I realized really quickly it wasn't for me. <laughs> I realized real quickly that's not my ministry. That's not my ministry. So I get it. But guys, remember. Remember Star Family. Remember I said that? Remember I said that Rachel wants a black man? <laughs> Rachel was trying to make it work with this guy, but Rachel wants a black man. It's just, we can tell. We can, like the way she was talking, I'm like, there's no way that you're, are you, that you are comfortably having these conversations with the white guy. Like there's no way. And that's it's not to talk about that terrible show, but that's like what I get from like Candace on uh, the Roswell's of Potomac, like the way she talks, I'm just like, I, I think you want a black husband and black kids, but I, I'll step out of it. Your happiness is your happiness. But to be honest with you, I think that's what a lot of black women want, but sometimes you just fall in love with somebody who is not um, what you thought that you would be with. Like that does happen. I honestly get it, but I, Rachel, I could see it. <laughs> I'm not shocked. When she said it, I was like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The interracial streets ain't for everybody. It is not for everybody. Not saying that people do not find love, um, but it's just not for everybody, especially in America. It's but girl, I was um on Twitter and there's a discourse about the UK. I heard that it be it, y'all be doing a lot of interracial dating over there, like interracial dating and marrying. And I've heard from people like both of my sisters lived in London uh, for like a semester with their school. And they said that there's a lot of interracial dating on there. But there is this girl on TikTok who did a video saying that um, she's from the UK, a black woman from the UK. And she moved to America, the South. And she says one thing that she loves so much about uh, the South in America is seeing so many black couples, seeing so many black families and seeing so much black love. And that's just not the case in the UK. And like the post is going viral. All like these UK sisters is in the comments like, girl, we know what you mean. And I'm like, oh, really? I mean, I'm not shocked. I'm not gagged. Like it's the OG colonizer. So of course that mindset would be over there. But it's just like, wow, I know it was, I know it was worse than America. <laughs> I thought we had it bad like that, but it's it's something. It's happening. But back to Rachel. I get it. I totally understand. It makes sense. I think that happens with a lot of Black people after they get out of relationships with non-Black people, especially Black people who are in relationships with white people. It is, I don't, and we talk about this a lot. I don't think that Black people understand the tra how traumatizing their relationship is with a non-Black partner, especially a white partner. I don't think that you guys understand how much you traumatize the community around you that is supporting you with this relationship because you have conversations with us that you cannot have with them. 
therefore making us do a lot of traumatic emotional labor that your partner is not doing because either they cannot do it or you do not feel comfortable asking it. And outside of us doing the labor, we're also doing labor for you. We're also comforting, building and protecting you. So I just, I don't think that they realize that. I don't think a lot of, not every, every black person is in a relationship with a not a person, especially a white person, but I don't think that a lot realize that, especially the next partner after that, especially the black partners that you come back to, or not come back to, I won't say that, but that you go to after you leave that relationship, it's a lot of trauma dumping. So I hope that Rachel is aware of that. And, you know, she does the work that she needs to do in therapy and does not dump that racial trauma onto her black partner. Cause that's just not fair. It's just not fair. I hope that she, you know, does the work, gets the help that she needs. And I wish successful black love on my girl. <laughs> uh, Christina said, Nikki, can you share your new job deet so we can support? All I can share right now is that it's a TV show on Netflix. It's currently untitled. When I get more information, specifically my air date, I will absolutely share it with you guys. <laughs> hey, Bria. Hey, Star, uh, hey, I said, hey, Star Fam. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Yolanda said, hey, Nikki and Star Fam, I miss you all, miss you too. Hey, Juvi, how are you? Hey, Miss Brown Sugar, how are you? Love like you are. I said, oh, it's Tuesday. Wow, this is not the look of Tuesday. SL, thank you so much for the super chat. SL said, happy you're back. Hate that Rachel and Jen um, are getting lots of racist hates because racist hate because the love people have for Maria is strong. Always thought she killing on Bachelor Paradise over Bachelorette. I absolutely agree. Thank you, SL, for the super chat. Christina says, Bachelor in Paradise did terrible in the ratings last year. Plus, they have Golden Bachelorette and regular Bachelorette. I'm not surprised. Uh, Bachelorette started off, um, Bachelor in Paradise started off strong, and then it just fell significantly for me. Uh, Megan said, the schedule is Golden Bachelorette filming then gen season in the summer and then in the fall it's the bachelor so are we not going to have anything until gen season or are we going to have the golden bachelorette and then gen season i uh, thank you megan sl said they should bring back the ba bachelor pad her bachelor in paradise was boring last season it was who do you think is going to be the golden bachelorette i think it's leslie i think it's one of the ladies we keep on seeing in the bachelor they they keep on using these four ladies from last season um, so if it's not Leslie, um, my hope is faith. I really, really liked, um, faith. If it's, um, my hope is faith and I forget the other lady's name, but she was the one who I thought that, uh, Jerry really liked Gary, Gary really liked, but she had to leave to go take care of her daughter. Her daughter had complications during her pregnancy. If it's not her, then it's faith. If it's not faith, I think it's one of the bachelorette ladies that they keep on using. And I think it's, um, I don't know her name, but the Jersey Shore mom that's obsessed with Kris Jenner. I think it might be her. They really, really, really like her. Um, Susan said, bad ratings for Bachelor in Paradise. I think Wells said something about it not being on. Oh, yikes. Lisa said, yes, uh, bring on old folks on the beach. Just go all the way in. They will. They will. They're filming, they're filming Bachelorette in Australia. American Bachelorette in Australia? Or is there an Australian Bachelorette? I love you too, Adriana. <laughs> SL said they always film The Bachelorette right after The Bachelor. You know, I forget. I think it's because it's just getting warm. I'm like, shouldn't The Bachelor in Paradise be on? I could be wrong. Hey, Desiree, thank you for being here. I'm still stuck on spaghetti. <laughs> I'm still stuck on spaghetti. Hey, Irene. Uh, Spitty said, did Rachel really say this? My sister in Christ, she should have never left, LOL. She did say that. She said that on her uh, podcast. And listen, I get it. Like, at the end of the day, guys, despite the, the communities that we're in and um, the tribes that society puts us in, we're all human beings. Attraction will happen. Um, love is love, right? However, the culture that we live in, some relationships are just not going to be able to be healthy because of our current cultural uh, environment. 
Stop. No, I'm not. Hey, Miss Brown Sugar. Miss Brown Sugar said I might have to dip early, but my feelings are Joey managed to avoid production traps and left his season like a champ. He sure did. One of the best bachelors we've ever had, in my opinion. Cheers for Kelsey and Joey. They are really cute, and I hope things work out. Amen. Amen. Hey, BB girl. BB girl said hi, Nikki. Uh, come back from a workout. Oh, good for you. I'm trying. I'm in Atlanta right now. I'm trying to keep my workouts my workouts up, but it is so freaking hot and humid. I don't know. And you know, I live in Jumanji. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try to get like an early workout in tomorrow. But if them bugs start bugging, I'm out. Bachelor in Paradise, Paradise was not good at all last year. Exclamation, exclamation, exclamation. I'm glad that it's going on a break and they need to change locations, just like the Bachelorette season. Change locations for opening night last week. Yeah, I think so, too. That the that beach is is done. We need to go to like a villa. You know what? If anything, they've been biting so hard off of Love Island. They need to go full Love Island. Let's keep it buck. You've been taking little bits and pieces from them. Take the whole damn thing. Take the whole damn thing. Thank you, Ashley. Hey, Eva. She's a facial girl. She's facial. SL said Rachel has been rumored to being with that Asian guy recently. I forgot his name. Johnny. So um, give me the uh, all the tea. Lisa said, you said Candace and my hackles. What's that? <laughs> Automatically raised. Um, Irene said, Nikki, favorite cowboy quarter track. Oh, spaghetti. Currently right now. This is the thing. Every time I listen to it, I get a favorite track. It was it, it was Tyrant for a minute. Then it just, it, it, spaghetti got me. Spaghetti got me. Texas Hold'em still got a hold on me. Because it gives me Cotton Eye Joe so much. And that's like very nostalgic for me. Um, and we'll talk. We'll talk later. But yeah, I'm I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Miss Brown Sugar said, uh, uh, cheers for Jen as the Bachelorette. Prayers up. Uh, the powers that be do her better than they did at, after the final rose. Um, we will see. Not Daisy having three segments in her own set change to all Daisy's. Right? That was very weird. That was very weird. I was like, was she supposed to be the bachelorette? And y'all was fighting racism claims, so y'all threw Jen out there? It, it was weird. It was weird. I am too. I am too. Hey, Shonda. SL said, Rachel being from Hawaii is probably used to dating all kinds. We have plenty Asian mixed people here. Oh, we're talking about not, not Joey's Rachel. We're talking about Rachel, the first black bachelorette. <laughs> We're not talking about that, Rachel. Um, thank you, Shauna. Shauna said, please uh, like the video. Yes, Rachel Lindsay. Well, I was talking about Rachel Lindsay, not uh, biracial um, Rachel. Miss um, Brown Sugar said, Big Rach said she wanted to be with a black man on the show, but the majority of the ones casted didn't even date black women. That is very true. That is very true. Thank you, BB. Um, yes, yes, you guys reached out to me on Instagram and said you wanted me to talk about it. I had thoughts, but I was just like, it's been so long. But if you guys want me to still talk about it, I'll talk about it tomorrow after uh, we talk about uh, Summer House. Hey, sup, people, thank you for being here. Blue Jay said, watching you cleaning while watching you cleaning while mama making chicken alfredo. Oh, sounds delicious. Um, oh, she has a podcast now. Why can't she have a podcast and be the bachelorette? Joan, Joan is who I was talking about. Yes, yes, she was definitely giving bachelorette vibes to me. Golden bachelorette vibes. Um, it's oh, she's so good on that. Oh my god, an artist of her time. SL said uh, they must be having difficulty casting, casting senior men. LOL. Just can't imagine the men set in their ways versus senior women. Yeah, I think it's going to be worse. I think it's going to be worse for the Golden Bachelorette. My God, today, it is going to be a nightmare, but good TV. Denard said the way Kelsey and Daisy were there for each other was great to see. Team women being there for each other when the past seasons have been fighting against each other. I agree, but guys, it's TV. Don't, don't, you know, a lot of this stuff is produced. Hey, so, so, staff. As I said, Nikki, did you see the big boy potentially going to be on Jen's season? People love him so far. Oh, we got a big boy? Y'all know I love a big softball softball body. I love a baseball. I'm not with me and ball, ball bodies, but I love a baseball and a softball body. Send it to me. Send it. Hit me up on Instagram and send me the guy. I don't know who we're talking about. 
Um, beautiful. The locations are sometimes better than the casting. <laughs> TK Kennedy Reed said Joey was for sure the best bachelor. Absolutely. No doubt about it. No fantasy suites kissing and telling. No leading women on. All the women had nothing but nice things to say. Yeah, he was really good. Very good. Even better. Um, yes, two days in the room, and we never sang our song. Come on in the room. Whoa, come on in the room. Yeah, we got so much to talk about. But won't you come on in the room? This ain't Texas. Woo! Ain't no hold em. Woo! <laughs> yes! Bounce on it. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna talk about that later. <laughs> Thank you, Shonda. Shonda said, please like the video, subscribe. Oh, 16K, we're almost there. Thank you. Um, uh, oh, the men have been released? Where? Where are the men? I didn't see anything. Candace said, Nikki, I'm here for you. I don't even watch the show. Thank you so much. Uh, Sarah said, I just hope they don't do gin better than they did Katie with our $20 dresses in Dollar Tree that they do gin, but oh, every, every bachelorette's going to be better than Katie. They did not like her. They did not like her. And it was very obvious. Um, I do. And Joey has it. I do. This is the thing. I'm like an artsy girl. I, I don't know what this jock attraction is. Cause I've never dated a jock. I've, I'm in the like arts guys, but it's something about the football walk. <laughs> I hate it. It's terrible. I love a football walk. Um, I heard it's, um, come on in a room. I heard it's really good this season. I'm not fully caught up, but I heard, I heard it's really good this season. Much better than uh, the first season. Sarah said, I still remember that picture with the white background, three flowers and Katie. <laughs> they did not like her. It was definitely giving Dollar Tree. Um, that's what I was waiting for, but I didn't know that the men were really, oh no. Are you kidding me? Jen, that's not a good look. No way. No way. No, that's not true. No way. No way. Miss Brown Sugar said, if Leslie is not the Golden Bachelorette, then the powers that be are so cruel. They drug her out right after her season and to talk about these girls she didn't know and made her come to the wedding too. Ciao. Welcome to TV. Uh, Megan said, most of Jen's season is filming internationally. Oh, good for her. SL said Noah's brother is possibly on the season as well. Oh, I, I'm sick of that, please. Because for me, I feel like when family members start coming on these shows, I instantly know that this is not a real connection. Like this person is just here because of nepotism. <laughs> I don't, I don't like that. Let's leave that out. Um, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. I'm gonna let the Asian girls talk about that, but um, I'm not shocked. Um, uh, Ashley said they probably didn't cast them in for Jen specifically. I think she was a last minute switch. Ooh, now that would make sense. Johnny's acting channel said our boy Joey came through. Thank God. I felt like he wasn't going to disappoint us. Oh, I'm so happy. And yes, finally, Asian representation about Sam Swine. Oh, Bachelor Nation Scoop. Okay, I'll check that out. Um, but I'm still, I, th I think I'm still not going to do anything until ABC officially, officially announces them or people. Um, Seven, Lily said they were originally casting for Daisy or Maria. Ugh. Oh, y'all really believe she wasn't the first? Are y'all sure about that? <gasps> are we sure? Where are y'all finding this out at? Let me know. Let me know, y'all. Oh, this is messy. You know what? No shade, but I can see Maria messing up this opportunity. <laughs> I can see her demanding too much. Oh my goodness, she would have been a great bachelorette. Ah, uh, he's so messy. I saw his interview with AD and I was like, this is not your wheelhouse. <laughs> this is not your wheelhouse. Oh, that's crazy if they did Jen like that. That's crazy if they did Jen like that. Y'all better get some Asian men on that show. That's not, that's, 
ABC, that's not going to go over well. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The Asians, I asked for rewards. <laughs> that would happen on Twitter. Uh-uh. We don't need it. We do not need it. We do not need it. You're going to get some Asian men on that show immediately. In a variety. A variety of Asian men. Immediately. Uh, Megan said a relative of Rachel confirmed that she turned down the gig. Due to oh, good for her. Good for her. <gasps> what is this lore? Now I'm into this. I'm going to go down a rabbit hole. I am going down a rabbit hole. I need to see this. Uh, Sophie said, yes, Dave Neal said Daisy was a fan favorite and Maria made too many demands. Oh, that sucks. She would have been such a fun. You know what? She would have definitely been like Claire on crack. <laughs> she would have been Claire on crack. That would have been such good TV. Y'all should have gave her what she wanted. I feel like Jen is going to play ball, but we have Asian representation. Ah, it is what it is. Let's first start off with the women tell all. Um, For me, the women tell all, listen, Joey, phenomenal bachelor. In my opinion, the best bachelor we've ever had in looks and personality and how he led out his season the best bachelor we've ever had hands down now the women tell all the best episode of the season the best episode of the season those ladies delivered and i was tuned in uh layla the girls are sick of her the girls were sick of her, which is starting to, which I'm starting to feel like the person that we saw that flip. Remember, I was like watching the show and I was just like, wait a minute. Why is Layla acting like this? Like we, we did not see this person. And as soon as I, who left, who left? I think it's as soon as somebody left. Sydney, as soon as Sydney left, like Layla just turned into this person that I was like, who is this girl? I was so confused by it. However, the way the women reacted to um, Layla at the Women Tell All lets me know that she was that girl the whole time. She was that girl. They were sick of her. Every time she spoke, they tapped in. They were like, oh, well, you were being messy. You were doing this. You were saying that. You were. I was like, oh, my God, Layla was a, a tyrant in that home. And that mansion, I would have never called it. I was so confused when she switched up on Medina. I was just like, what is happening here? But it seems like that's who she was the entire time because the girls were sick of her. Even when she started crying, they were like, girl, bye. Girl, bye. I also did not know that Maria has so many shooters. Maria had a bunch of shooters at that show because every time she says something, they backed all the women, backed her up a thousand percent. Like it was Sydney, Layla, and who was that other girl? It was another girl. I think it was, I think her name is Rachel. Um, it was those three. They were the only three that had each other's back. Everybody else had Maria. Every every time Maria spoke, another girl would chime in and be like, Yup, she said it, and you should not have did it. You should, you were bullying her. She was the one that was bullying. Maria didn't have to say anything. I was gagged. I was I did not know that Maria was like the queen bee of that mansion. I had no idea. I thought that she wasn't liked because you know everybody was jealous because of her relationship with Joey, but oh my goodness, she was in charge of the girls. It still is in charge of the girls. Maria did not have to say anything. She just sat there and smiled, all them teeth. <laughs> and they were just shooting for her. I was like, oh, this is crazy. This is, I want this show. <laughs> Can we just not do Bachelor in Paradise and just film Maria and the girls around town? Because I cannot believe she, ha she has like this much influence over them. It was actually insane. Actually, in a good way, you go, Maria. <laughs> Who's in charge of the girls? Maria. Maria. Oh, let me pull her pick up. Mother is in charge of the girls. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I thought they did not like her, but she was running the yard. Running the yard. So, Layla, because everybody was, like, coming for her because of, obviously, the terrible things that she was doing, she flipped the script and, you know, 
did the thing that we always talk about. She cried. And when she cried, everybody immediately felt bad. Maria went over and hugged her and, you know, told her that she just wanted to make amends. And this is the thing. I think it's because I'm not like a crier like that. Like I cry, but I feel like the people who can cry at the drop of a dime are sociopaths. <laughs> you have to be because immediately, as soon as you see a tear, you will get sympathy out of the blue. Out of the blue. And I don't think Layla really felt bad. I think that Layla misjudged the fan base or the viewership. I think she misjudged how she would be perceived. And because it did not go the way that she thought that it would go, she threw out the tears. And when you throw out the tears, you're, you're, you can no longer be held accountable for everything because everybody had an issue with her. And then she started crying and everybody moved on. So there was nothing that she could be held accountable for because she started to cry. So everybody moved on. I will say she did apologize to Maria. I have to be honest with you. I think she apologized to Maria because she didn't realize Maria had so many shooters. She she misjudged everything. And she was like, you're right. I, I was wrong. I mean, she did take accountability for that. But I'm just like, there was so much more, apparently a whole lot more going on in that home that we that mansion that we didn't see that needed to be addressed. Specifically, that Karen, Sydney, Sydney, where, where is she? Do I have her picture? Yes. The Karen of what's who? Anyway, she, because she was trying to stand her ground too. And she was telling Layla like, this okay. You have an opinion and it's fine. Then we get to Sydney and all of a sudden she's apologetic because she's smart. She saw what happened to Layla and she was just like, I'm going to let my flunky take the heat. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do the right thing. So by the time it got to her, all of a sudden she's apologizing. I'm like, you're apologizing after saying that this lady did all of this stuff. And now you want to move on? No, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Now that we have everybody here, let's have the conversation. Let's talk about all the things that Maria said to you. Let's talk, let's break everything down. Because to me, this is how you find out a liar, right? When you have the person who said these things and the person, when you have the person who said the things and then you have the person that the person said these things about and then you have everybody else who was there to witness everything, you can always find the liar because the liar wants to uh, move on. The lie, oh, it's not that important anymore. Uh-uh, let's talk about it. No, we can move on. It's good. Let's just be friends. Girl power, women empowerment, we're all together. Sisterhood, absolutely not. Let's have that conversation. Because Maria was just like, I don't have a problem with you. But what I do have a problem with is you lying on me. You said that I said all of these things. And Sydney, it, it's happened a while ago. Let's just, oh, I don't want to have any beef with you. No, let's talk about it. Because you said that this woman bullied you and everybody in the house. You said that this woman said all of these defamatory things. Now that you're in front of the people that you said that Maria allegedly said these things in front of, and now that you have witnesses, all of a sudden the story changes and you just want to move forward. That's how you can always find the liar, the one who wants to move forward now that we have witnesses. Still gagged that Maria was in charge of the girls. I mean, she ran that women tell all. Oh, my God, today. Good for her. Good for her. Um, but they all made up smart makeup, move forward. It's not a big deal. It's just a reality TV show, but I felt like there should have been more accountability, but the ladies moved on and they're all besties now, all of a sudden. So we'll see them on paradise. Maria, if she was in charge of the girls on Joey season, she's going to be in charge of paradise. Y'all better build paradise around her. I think that is a much better vehicle for her than the bachelorette anyway, in my opinion. Um, so then we cut back to the season finale of The Bachelor of The Bachelor and we have Kelsey giving Joey a note and she um 
Y'all don't see Robin Dixon. I see Robin Dixon. But you have Kelsey giving Joey a note and saying we need to talk. Joey starts getting insecure and he starts crying because of what happened in this season, um, in charity season where he was eliminated. And he's just like, oh, my goodness, I don't want her to leave or to reject me. For me, I never thought that Kelsey had a chance. Right. I'm going to be honest with you. I never thought that it was going to be Daisy and Kelsey at the end. I thought that Daisy was going to be eliminated and it was going to be um, Maria and Rachel. I did not predict uh, this final two. I did not predict it at all. Um, just because I felt like Joey had more chemistry with Rachel and Maria. But Maria eliminated herself. Child, Maria, you keep on getting fired from good jobs. Girl, do better. So anyway, Kelsey gives Joey a note. He feels insecure. They finally meet. And Kelsey says, oh, I just wanted to let you know that um, I really like you. And I really want to be with you. <laughs> Kelsey, what? <laughs> Well, what are we doing, sis? Why did you write that letter telling that man that you need to talk? And then you meet with him and you're just like, I just want to let you know that I really want to, I really want to be with you. Kelsey, you know, sweet girl, <laughs> beautiful gowns. <laughs> beautiful gowns. I was gagged at Rachel getting cut. I really was gagged at Rachel getting cut. That was like, I was like, oh, I thought she was it. I thought that she was the one. So after, you know, the, the Rachel gets cut or whatever, we go, um, we get this segment with her and Rachel comes out. You know what? I'm going to talk about that last. We're going to talk about that last. We're going to, I'm just going to wrap this up and then we're going to get into that. Cause I feel like that's a much more important, um, conversation. Um, yeah, we'll get into that. We'll end with that. Um, Daisy eliminates herself. Smart girl. Smart girl. I feel like she saw the writing on the wall. And before Joey could say that she wasn't the one, she said, I just want you to know that I know that it's not me. I don't see a future for you in my life. And you don't see a future for me in your life. I already know. So I think it's time for me to go. Smart move. And any woman watching this show that wants to be on The Bachelor, you better follow her lead. I would do the same thing. She took her power back. She said, this might be your show, but I'm going to do the eliminating here. Smart girl. Smart girl took that moment right away from him. But Joey's such a stand-up guy. He cried with her or whatever, and they had a really beautiful moment. And she was um, cut. And then uh, Joey went over to Kelsey. And, you know, he let her know that she was the one that he proposed to her. And it was, you know, great, cute, gravy. Um, I have to be honest with you. Guys, I don't. I don't think this is it. Joey's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. I think, oh, poor thing. I think that Kelsey was a safe pick because I don't think that this relationship is going to go the distance. It's giving me, like, I, like I've seen a lot of these relationships, it's giving me People Magazine cover. And a few months later, that's it. We just need to go in different um, directions. The reason why, I think we talked about this before. The reason why I didn't want it to be Kelsey is because I think Kelsey was really in this. I'm not saying that Joey wasn't in it, but it's a TV show. I think he's a good guy that played his part really well. I think that every, every once in a while on reality TV, you get somebody really pure who watches this show or whatever, or any reality TV show and thinks this process is as pure as they are and does not understand how cutthroat and demonic TV actually is. Media in general, uh, entertainment actually is. And that's why I didn't want it to be Kelsey because I think she's in this for real. Again, I like Joey. I'm not saying that he's leading her on. I will say that he played this part and he played this part well and allowed the show to get the results that they needed. I don't think that Kelsey is his ending relationship wise. Um, I think he really likes her, but I also think with all of the opportunities that Hollywood provides with a position like this, I don't see him wanting to be married right now. And I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I really like Kelsey. Um, but I just, 
I don't know. I, I see them going their separate ways. I really, really do. And I hope that um, Kelsey gets just as many opportunities as Joey is going uh, to get from this or just as many opportunities or more as Daisy is going to get because this show is investing in her. And Kelsey, like, do you have a team? This is my thing. I'm so concerned about her because again, this is somebody who I think really came into this process with pure intentions. And I think that she's not going to use this platform the way that Daisy is going to use this platform. I think that Daisy is going to use this platform and catapult herself uh, to greater heights. I think by the time she got the call back, Daisy already had her career plan in place. I don't think, I don't think that Kelsey thought that. I think that Kelsey was just like, oh my God, I'm going to meet Joey. You know what I mean? I don't think that she's going to be, a, I don't think that she's going to work this reality TV opportunity the way it needs to be worked. I don't think she's somebody that's going to like audition for other reality TV shows or want to be a part of that. I probably see her, you know, on Instagram, probably posted about extensions, but not really being that committed to it. Cause I just don't see her as that person. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Cause this is a great opportunity. This is a great opportunity for you to become independently wealthy, Kelsey. Robin Zixon. It's a great opportunity for you to be able to do that. And I hope that you have the right people around you and the right team uh, so that you can catapult yourself um, to the next level with this opportunity. Um, I hope you use it well. Um, and I wish you success. I just don't think that you and Joey are in game. I'm going to be real with you. I think Joey going to play his cards right. And I think he's probably going to end up with somebody probably an A-lister. I think, I think, I think he's going to take the advice that I've been giving to bachelorettes and I think he's going to successfully use it. I think he's going to be my first success. Um, and good for him. He's an attractive guy. Hope, hope, hopefully he can act. He's already doing like crossovers on different TV shows. I just also feel like a relationship like this, the entertainment, the entertainment opportunities are, are going to be a heavy demand, right? And if you are newly engaged and you are, you know, ready to plan your wedding and your man is in L.A. filming TV shows all the time and taking these opportunities and saying, I hope you understand. And the engagement gets longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. <sighs> you know what I mean? I feel like that may happen again. I want to be on this ride with everybody else and believe that this stuff is like the real deal and not just a reality TV show, but I'm jaded because of the work that I do. So I try to like, you know, be a part of the fantasy, but I just, in reality, I just don't think it's going uh, to last, but I wish success for uh, the both of them. Uh, Kelsey, Daisy's going to, da Daisy's using his right. I want you to do the same thing. Um, but uh, Joey and Kelsey are cute. Um, wish them all success. Charity was at the uh, season finale. Gorgeous. The girl is gorgeous. Charity, I think you're doing great things. We need to talk. You should be doing more. You should be doing more. <laughs> Call me, girl. You should be doing more. Um, but she she looked beautiful. The hair was hairy. Um, face beat. Just a gorgeous girl. Um, Charity was there. I got caught up on how great she looks. Charity was there to introduce Jen, our first Asian uh, bachelorette. Um, I'm as somebody who has been saying I want the bachelor to move, the bachelor or bachelorette to move on from black people. I'm excited that somebody else, <laughs> some other person of color uh, group can now take this mantle because hopefully this show does better by an Asian lead. They have never done the black girls right, in my opinion. Hopefully they do better um, with Jen. I won't hold my breath because here is the thing. You got to change everything to get a different result. And if there are still the same people over this show, um, I'm talking about executives over this show. You're going to get the same outcome. And it doesn't seem like this show knows how to protect its POC lead. So we will see. 
we will see. I think Jen has spoken about, um, uh, you know, um, the hate that she has received and just um, a lot of ignorance because she could constantly gets confused with Layla. So she has spoken about it. But again, it's just a lot to take on. And it's and I don't care how strong you are. Something like this could actually play with your mental health. So um, I wish her the best. I think she has a great personality. Uh, I think she's going to do very, very well. The pressure is absolutely going to be on her to pick an Asian guy. Um, girl, if you want to do this reality TV thing right, I would not pick a white guy. I'm just saying. I, I'm talking about. I'm talking about your career after this. <laughs> I'm talking about the diaspora rules in your community. I would, you know. I'm just saying, uh, you know, the, do do the unthinkable, do the unthinkable. But you know, love is love. Find who you want to find and do what you need to do. But call me. Let's set this up. Let's set this up so you can win. They're going to drive us crazy with shot o'clock, aren't they? There were so many shot o'clock moments. Shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. Let's get your shot. It's too much. I'm already annoyed. I'm already annoyed with shot o'clock. Please do not make that her tagline. Please do not make that her tagline. Can I, I can just see the Karens right now. The Bachelorette is a drunk. This is what they're sharing to our community. Our children are watching this show. You know, they always go to their children. They always go to the children. <laughs> Karen 101. <laughs> Death threats and children. That'll get your sympathy real quick. So I hope they find something else because I can see her being villainized for that. Although shot o'clock is annoying, she shouldn't be villainized for it. I'm just seeing something happening there. So I hope um, I hope that doesn't happen for her. Now let's get into Rachel. Talks about everything that I want to talk about. Let's get into Rachel. Rachel comes out uh, right out the gate. She's a mess. She's a wreck. She's doing all this crying over Joey. And I was just like, oh, just like Kelsey, you really fell for this guy. Oh, good for you. I'm, I'm happy you found love. I'm sad it didn't work out. I really thought that you were the one. <laughs> I really thought um, that you were going to get picked because I just felt like her and Joey had good chemistry. But Joey's just like, I couldn't get there with you. Hmm. Okay, Joey. See, this is the thing, guys. He's a good lead. I think he played his part a little too well. Anyway, he just says that he couldn't get there um, with Rachel. And this is what I will say. Rachel's still very young, so it's okay. We all have these moments and we all grow. But I would like, moving forward, Rachel, um, I would like for you to never in your life think or tell a man that you are a better woman because of him. There, there ain't a man alive that could show you how to be a better woman. It was, I felt like the things that she was saying to him, it was, boy, I, I felt like the next comment was going to be, you raised me. <laughs> like the things that she was saying to Joey, I know that I'm going to be a better person. And I know that I want to find a better person because of Joey. Girl, he's a good guy, great lead. You're giving him a little too much. You're giving him a little too much. You talking like he the prize and not you. That was my only critique. I was like, ooh, we like Joey, but this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot that he did to you in these few months that made you a better woman, a better partner. Your life is enriched from knowing him. Ah, you can't give a man that, that much. It's too, it was too much for me. It was too much for me, my dear. But you're young. We, we, we've all been there. We've all played that part. I'm a better woman because of you. Since when? <laughs> Since when? Since when? It never happens. Anyway, that was like my only critique. I was like, are you, do you really feel this way or are you auditioning for The Bachelorette? Do you not yet know that the role has gone to somebody else? Girl, please. Joey didn't do all that. D don't give him that credit. The woman that you are is because of you and the woman in your community. Don't, don't, don't ever give a man that. Not a straight man. Now you can say, like for me, I could say that I am the woman that I am because of Hollywood Montrose. 
that would make sense. But mm -mm, a straight man will never take. <laughs> will never take. Not this. Not this one. Anyway, <laughs> credit for this? Nah. No, sir. No, sir. Anyway, then we get into uh, the conversation of race. Um, I knew you guys told me that Rachel had been um, getting attacks or whatever online. I didn't know it was this bad. This woman was shaking, like voice trembling, body shaking. Like she could not control herself just recounting what happened to her. And that pissed me off because I cannot believe that this show gave her the responsibility of recounting her trauma with this audience, her racial trauma with a mainly white audience that inflicted the said trauma. And then you're putting it on her to give you details about what happened. That bothered me because I felt like Jesse should have been like, Rachel, since we have you here, we have been made aware of the racist attacks that you have received just because you are a biracial woman, a, you know, a woman of color on this show. And that is unfair. And we want to let our fan base know right now, not this one, not this one. We love and protect our people here at, at on the Bachelor, the Bachelorette, Bachelor Nation does not condone this. We do not condone races, violence, or attack. We do not condone racism. If you feel that way, if you believe that way, and if you attack our people who are on this show, then you are no longer a part of Bachelor Nation. Don't watch this show. Don't participate in the show because we do not stand with you. We do not support it. We do not believe in it. You are not one of us. We stand against racism and Rachel, we apologize for not protecting you the way that we should have on this show. Thank you for allowing us into your journey with Joey. That should have been said. Rachel shouldn't have said nothing. She should have been sit sitting there holding Jesse's hands, crying. Everybody should have been woo clapping. We love you, Rachel. Holding up signs. Somebody, you know, some motherly white woman should have came out and hugged her and been like, we have you. You will not do this to her. You know, all the older bachelorettes, or, you know, on Gary season should have came out and surrounded her. Y'all got them talking to um Daisy. Why not have them talk to Rachel and say, girl, we got your back. Now, the girl that looked like Chris Jenner, the Jersey mom, she did say something, but it wasn't about that. They all should have came and been like, we don't stand for this. This is not okay. Y'all are not coming after her. If you want to get to her, you got to come through us first. That's what should have happened. And she should not have had to say anything. She should not have had to say anything, but be loved on and protected in that moment. That would have been a huge statement. Here's why they should have done it. Because now you have an Asian lead. And if you think that that Asian lead is not going to be ripped to shreds, you got another thing coming. Because you never checked your horrible fan base. You never put them in their place. You never let them know that this was not a place for them. What you did was say, oh, Rachel, Please tell us what happened. Oh my God, that's not right. And um, let's go to Sydney. Sydney? That wet seal Karen? Her? Why the hell are we going to her? Sydney, I've received a lot of hate online. Warranted hate. Rachel's just dark. That's it. She got a dark skin, her daddy's nose, and her mama's hair. And they hate her because she's not white. They hate her because she's not white and because a white guy that they think should have been theirs was rubbing up and loving on her. Sydney, she needed that beat down. She was wrong. Not Rachel. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Why the hell did you go to Sydney? All of a sudden it went from being about Rachel to one of the worst white women on this show. What are we doing? Sydney was being held accountable. Rachel was just black. Jesus. Jesus. We don't want the women on this show to receive hate, especially the black ones, especially the Asian ones, especially the ones with 4C hair. Like you should have been mass specific. 
You made it about women and the first woman you went to was Sydney. You should have went to Maria. I was like, what just happened here? Y'all don't know what y'all doing. That's why I'm glad that they have moved on from black people. Leave us alone. Leave the melanated people alone. Jen, I'm praying for you and your community. Oh, y'all gonna go through it. Y'all go stand strong. Stand strong. That's all I have to say. What do you guys have to say? Let's get into the comments. Oh my God. Guys, I went to Target today. Shout out to um, what is her name? I forgot her name. Chelsea. I forgot her last name, but Chelsea on YouTube. I watch uh, her vlogs all the time. She was at Target and she bought this cup or she didn't buy it, but she showed this cup at Target. Busy binging reality TV. And I went there to get it today. <laughs> Cause how, how adorable. I'm busy binging reality TV. Chelsea Janae, thank you, Mama. Chelsea Janae. And I went, oh wait. Oh God. I went right to Target to get it. I got this and I got another one that says just one more episode. How cute. How cute. Anyway, let's get into the comments. Woo! Um, she was such good TV, Eva. Such good TV. Shout out to Claire. She got her happy ending. She got a man and a baby. Good for her. Good for her. Lisa said, I mean, hasn't every PLC lead been a Hail Mary replacement other than Rachel, maybe? I mean, it's been rumors. Something's been confirmed. Um, TK Kennedy Reed said, too many demands. As the people's bachelorette, this is the thing. And I don't think a lot of people know. In reality TV, you are not the star. Unless you were a star before and just came to reality TV, you may have some demands. But if you're just a regular, regular person, you are not the star. Production is the star. That network is the star. The TV show is the star. You are so easily replaceable. They do not play with you. They do not give you anything that you want. You are not the star. You find out real quickly that you are just a body because at the end of the day, they are going to manipulate everything that you say and do to give the storyline that they want to give their viewers. They can do it with you or without you. They will find somebody else more willing to do what they want them to do. And she probably went on that set like she was a star of the season. And there's no reason for her to not feel that way. Look how she was treated at the Women Tell All. Look how she's treated at a fan base. Like there's there wasn't a reason for her to not to feel like she was that girl. But when you act like you're that girl, they cut you or they give you Katie season. She would have been a phenomenal bachelorette, but I think she's going to eat on paradise. Um, Shawanda, I miss you too. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, Sophie. Sophie said, I can see Rachel not wanting the gig. She was not prepared for the hate. Social media can be so cruel. Oh, just from, just from the way she was recounting the story, she could not even speak, guys. Her body was shaking so badly. The words could not come out of her mouth because I feel like that's something Rachel never experienced. I don't. I don't think that she experienced direct racism like that, right? I think she might've heard a few things maybe in high school, but the stuff that she was probably getting called online and the things that was probably being sent to her was probably like some old time stuff that you just, my God today, like that you could just never fathom. I think that she was getting all of that. And, to, and for that to happen to somebody who is like not prepared, probably doesn't know anything about it. I feel like as, you know, as the generations get younger, um, a lot of history is lost, right? Even now, like I, I am so thankful that I'm um, a millennial because a black millennial, um, black American millennial, because I know so much about my history because my upbringing, and this was just, this was like just a national thing. Like there was so much information giving to the, the nation, the world about black Americans, like black American history, like black, um, a black history month was huge, huge back in the day when I was a kid. 
huge. I went to, I, I grew up in Philly. So a lot of my schools were, dom, were predominantly black, but my high school was, I forget what it's called, but it's, is it, I don't think it's, I don't think it's magnet, but it's a kind of school where you had to have a certain amount of kids from each culture to get funding from the school. So we had to have a certain amount of black kids, certain amount of uh, Chinese kids, a certain amount of Vietnamese kids, a certain amount of Puerto Rican kids, a certain amount of Italian kids, a certain amount of Irish kids. Like it was like that. You had to feel like a quota for the city to continue to give money to my school. And I think my school was like, I think my school cost like $10 million. It was like, it was like a big thing. It's like a really big thing how much money Kappa got. So even in that, like the Black History Month show was a big deal. Everybody was a part of that show, no matter who you were. I don't know if my friend Crystal was watching, but she was a part of <laughs> the Black History. She's white. She was a part of the Black History Month step team. Homegirl was in full kente cloth, stepping, saying that she's proud to be black. I think Preston has a video of that. My God today. My God today. But like, it was like a really big deal. Like, Black History Month was that girl. Like, you, we learned so much about ourselves and our culture. And we knew how to protect ourselves, what to look for. But like, even with like my sister, she's a millennial, but she's like a baby millennial. And just like having conversations with her sometimes about stuff, I'm like, oh my God, we are losing recipes. Y'all don't know to look out for that. Y'all don't know. Like, it's really crazy that the, the baton is not being passed. I take accountability for that. I, you know, I tap in, you know, now that I, I when I realized that she was like, not, not catching on to some things, I tap in, but I realized that. So I feel like for people who I think Rachel is Gen Z, I think even for that, for that generation, it's just like a lot of a lot of our reality as like people of color, like people with melanin as black people. I think that she probably thought that stuff was so long ago. It could not happen today. And I think getting all of that and like having this mindset that the world is different today, her community is different, and then getting all of this racist hate had to mess with her mental. Had to mess with her mental. Poor girl. Poor girl. That show did not protect her. They did not do enough, in my opinion. Um, the best. The best. As I said, Joey's the best bachelor. No one has a bad thing about him. And all the girls are friends, LOL. Even the ones that had drama. Yeah, all the guys like him. All the women love him. I wouldn't be surprised if Joey spin the block. Because there are a lot of girls who look like they was leaving the door open. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that man is engaged. <laughs> Smithy said the woman tell all was messy. Um, Leia, is it Leia? It was, I was going on Leila. Leia uh, was getting red for Phil. She sure was. Mama, Mama Star said, Joey's the best bachelor. He was the cutest bachelor. He's a great guy. Oh, she loved herself some Joey. She loved herself some Joey. Uh, Adriana said, uh, Leia <laughs> usually is gaslighting too loosely. Sure was. Uh, Shonda said, welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining at Nikki Star TV Live. Please like and subscribe for more good content. Thank you. Edwina who never speaks. I could not believe it. How are you going to tell me I was there? I'm like, Edwina, calm down. Uh, Maria is better than me. Because if it was me, I'm like, oh my God. Edwina, hold on. You, you had such a soft voice. You never even really spoke on the season. Who is this girl? You're like ready to get in the mud with Leia. Ciao. I cannot believe that Edwina of all people was like Maria's toughest shooter. Crazy. Uh, Miss Brown Sugar said, I know that's right. I was like, where, where, where were y'all doing a season? Only Edwina uh, spoke up in the moment. Shawanda said, Joey's definitely without a doubt the best bachelor we have ever had on all levels. Yep. Remember, I said they have to get a bachelor that every woman wants. Joey got a shot with every woman. Every woman, of course. It's a white boy from Philly, an Italian from Philly. 
Ciao. Sophie says Maria will probably have some other TV options, uh, other options of reality TV. Oh, Maria is going to work the hell out of reality TV. Dare I say she's going to go further than Daisy? Further than Daisy? She's going to work the hell out of it. Oh, she's probably filming a Netflix show right now. Some Netflix reality TV show right now. You're going to see Maria on the challenge. You're going to see Maria on Too Hot X or something. X on the beach. You're going to see Maria. She's going to be in a reality TV streets for a very long time until she ends up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey. SL said, no one will go and get Maria. The public will go after them if they say something about her. I can't believe that she's that popular. No shade, but I just was like, she just does not seem like a girl that Bachelor Nation would go up for. Like this dark haired woman, woman who is like sensual, not like Christian cookie cutter, cussed like a sailor, got a big, very like, very Teresa Judice. I cannot believe that this fan base is like fighting for her like that. That's crazy. Um, Joanna said, I really think the fact that Lexi supported Maria gave Maria uh, even more credibility. True, probably, but I just felt like they was all sitting on 10, like ready. If anybody had anything to say about Maria, the ladies was ready. I was gagged. Spencey said Sydney was trying to get Real Housewives of New Jersey trying and fell miserably. Susan said, what about we speak two different ways? Maria, yeah, I say the truth and you tell lies. She got some good one liners. I'm telling you, she's going to end up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey. That's going to be like where she settles. Eva said, hopefully Jim will be like Hannah B. At first, no one wanted her to be the Bachelorette, and then her season turned out to be really good. Yeah, I, I'm really hoping that Jen has a good season, but I just feel like they don't know how to really deal with women who are not white and are not Christian evangelical cookie cutter. Because they had a white woman. They had, they had two white women who were great leads, but they threw them away because they could not control them. And that is Katie and Claire. Miss Brunswick said, LA is very young and it showed she swears she was so righteous. Now, Sydney, she's just a Karen in disguise. Oh, Sydney ain't disguising that. Sophie chats a lot, said Leia was annoying and felt pressure to back down. It was funny. <laughs> um, who's Ashley? Oh, Ashley Lancanetti. Right? Is that what we're talking about? Poor Kelsey. Kelsey ain't know what was going on. <laughs> Sweet girl, sweet girl. Kelsey ain't had no idea what's going on. She met with Joe and she's like, hi, I just wanted to let you know, I really, really want to be with you. And Joey is like, Kelsey. <laughs> she's like, what? And he's like, I thought you were leaving. Oh, Joey, I would never leave you. <laughs> Kelsey, I, listen, honey, when you and Joey, when this relationship wraps up, you need to go to what what is the what is y'all the football team New Orleans Saints go to one of them games and and let let one of them football boys pick you up because Connie you are right for the picking <laughs> like that that's your seats let one of them football boys go and pick you up but let one of them do that mama Joey ain't it Spencey said I also feel like Joey was not ready for the season he was so I, you know, I want to say it because I want to be the delusional black girl, but the way he keep on crying and talking about charity, I'm like, Joey, are, are you over her? Like, what happened with me last time? I love somebody and they didn't love me back and like full on breaking down crying. And I'm like, should you be getting engaged? <laughs> I'm sorry. No man that I'm with, I'm not getting engaged to him if he keep on crying about the last woman he was with. Like, you're still there? <laughs> okay. Mm -mm. Fix that. Fix that. That is a Creole woman. That is a Creole Cajun quadroon. Ah, I see it. Anytime that hair get wet, I said, there go my ancestors. Denar said, and according to Daisy, it was very clear Kelsey was it for a while. I, I did not see that. Spitzy said, Daisy is a producer plant. I'm convinced because I didn't see the chemistry at all. Is she a producer plant or a Nepo baby? Because I just do not understand all this, all the pomps and circumstances that she was getting if she wasn't the Bachelorette. 
Didn't they make it seem like she was the bachelorette? Like she just got so much favoritism on the show. It did not make sense that Jen was the bachelorette. Uh, Miss Brown Sugar said, hi, Key. I feel that I predicted them early on. I really do. You did. And I didn't see it. Daisy didn't want that man. Oh, absolutely not. She had a billion preconditions for if, when she might fall in love. Daisy, no shade. And that's, I, I, I'm all for it. Daisy was here for the show. Daisy was here for the Instagram following, following. Like Daisy came to the show with an agenda and I'm telling you, she's going to eat it up. She, Daisy is going to go far. Daisy and Maria, they're going to go far. Um, Ms. Rushdrigan said, I really didn't like her going to ask Kelsey first. Daisy gets all the credit, but it's really only fine because Kelsey welcomed her, her in. Yeah. Kelsey's just a really sweet girl. A really, really sweet, sweet, sweet girl. Get out of the reality TV streets, girl. Um, Joey had the most sexual chemistry, in my opinion, with Maria. SL said, to me, it looked like Kelsey was the one from the start. I don't know how everyone loved Daisy for him. I never thought that him and Daisy were a match at all. At all. Are we going to talk about the father? I've been peeped that. <laughs> I've been peeped that, daddy. I was like, oh. Amen. Amen. Wait, Joey moved to New Orleans? Oh. Joey said he wants a two to three. Kelsey. <laughs> Kelsey, go and get a New Orleans Saint. Mm -mm. I don't believe in no woman being, being a fiance for three years. Absolutely not. <laughs> Play with somebody else. Play with somebody else's youth. Not mine. Susan said, yeah, he moved to her town and then they are moving to New York in the summer. Said it in numerous interviews, having plan, have plans, long engagement. Karat, mom said, it looked like Kelsey from the beginning. He had no chemistry with Daisy and was in the friend zone with Rachel. I really saw chemistry with Rachel. I never saw Kelsey. Never saw it. Spencer said, Daisy has been promoted. Yep. Daisy is going to, listen, she won't make this work. She got a book out. Yep. Go ahead, Daisy. Miss Brown Sugar said, Joey is leading on Kelsey to be a sunshine. And all season, I kept thinking, get this man some money. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, SL said, I think they're in game. He did say that it was it for him. Amen. Amen. Susan said, Kelsey said she is going back to work at a construction. As a construction project manager, Joey said he could be a model, but that's not what she could be a model, but that's not what she wants. Amen. Amen. Simply Simone said, I see him looking up, hooking up with a B-lister from one of the network shows. Ooh. He's staying on ABC streets. Um, I mean, I heard that dancing with the stars bag is a nice bag. Do it. Kayla said Joey was acting all season. He definitely has a few rom-com dramedies in his future. Yeah, I see. I If he's not doing it now, Joey's going to be acting on something. Um, Ashley said, what do you think of Daisy and Kelsey showing up to the uh, final role together? It was weird to me. It was weird to me. I honestly think because Kelsey is not, she doesn't have a reality TV personality or like, again, Kelsey is just like a pure person who just wanted to come on this show to like really meet Joey and see if he was the one, right? She was, the, I think she was, she just has pure intentions. And so I don't think she could really see this game for what it is. I don't think she saw the game for what it is at all. Because if I was Kelsey, I would be like, no, I won. Why the hell am I walking out with Daisy? I won! <laughs> I'm walking out alone. Like, but if you're a Kelsey, you're like, oh, sure, me and Daisy, sisterhood. And Daisy is like, yep, this is what I need. You know what I mean? Um, I didn't like it. I didn't think that that was appropriate. Kelsey won. She should have strutted out there on her own and got her man. Why is she having a moment with Daisy? It was weird. It was weird. Um, so she said, why did I see that Daisy's interview? Because she had bought her money. Go for her. Go for her. Go for her. Um, 
as I said, they're definitely going to treat Jen as if she's white. She does give Valley Girl vibes. Plus, her type is white. Her ex is white. And he was talking about her online. It Well, it, just because her ex is white doesn't mean all of her exes are white. <laughs> See, it's already starting, Jen. It's already starting. Kayla said, Charity must not have had her pen ready when PR Nikki gave all the good advice. Like, no, I, think, like, I think Charity is doing a really good job. I think she, I think she is. Um, I want her to do more. But I, so I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Um, no, who's Dare Shandy? Send it to me, please. I don't know about that interview. Uh, Christina said, I don't think any Asian men are on this cast. Clearly, she was not the first option. And they didn't cast for her unless she doesn't like Asian men. Oh, Jen, good luck. Good luck. Um, me too. That poor girl. Oh, Lisa said, I think and I hope middle America might better tolerate an Asian woman with a white man. A bunch of folks at a Midwest adopts the Asian orphans in the 90s. Jen is their distant niece. They see a reunions. Um, I actually, no shade. I think she, she may have it worse. Here is why. No shade, Asian community. We're just being honest. Racists are, especially racists in America, well, they they will say what they need to say about black people. They'll hold their tongue. Why? Because we pop back. Black people, black Americans in general, pop back. I feel like there is a comfortability that races have with Asian people, especially Asian Americans, because of the model minority stereotype, the docile stereotype. Um because black people are viewed as people you fear, the fear holds that tongue a bit more. But because stereotypically there is no fear of Asian people, I think that races feel a bit more comfortable going ballistic on Asians. We talked about that, especially on, ba on Bachelor. I forget the name of that guy. But remember on Bachelor in Paradise where they tried to jump that Asian guy? And I was like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Y'all only doing that because he's Asian. Y'all would have never did that to a black man. Y'all would have never did that to a black man. But because you know that ain't nobody going to stand up for no Asian, no Asian person, especially no Asian dude, right? Because you know he's not going to have that community protection. Y'all got in that dude's face. I will never forget that. I think I was, um, I think I probably said I was not going to review the show anymore. <laughs> Look at me lying. But I, that really pissed me off, the way they were coming at him. They threw, they threw him out of paradise. That would have never happened to a brother. <laughs> that would have never happened to a brother because they knew. They knew if they would have touched a black man or a black woman on that show, Bachelor in Paradise wouldn't exist anymore. Absolutely not. So I'm actually really more concerned for her. I actually really, really am. Tongues will not be held. Tongues will not be held. SL said, I don't like that uh, Jesse asked the woman if they had any hate. It's so not the same as other ra that racist had, the, the hate that Rachel was receiving. Absolutely. Um, see, what's up, said, this is so, oh, I see your flawless profile. Wake up, flawless. Um, Says so this is so random, but am I the only one that felt like they did Kelsey T wrong with that one-on-one -on -one with Joey out of all the women? Why did the black girl have the date where he's sick? Oh, I absolutely forgot about that. Um, Kelsey T was a pawn. I think she knows that. I hope she works this opportunity to the best of her, to the best that she can. But like, girl. We knew why you blasted that long. No shade. Uh, Megan said, Jen has a lot of MAGA conservative men on her season. That tells me she wasn't the producer's first pick. Oh, y'all think it was Daisy. SL said, I do think they had a strong friendship bond. They probably would have worked in the real world. Who are we talking about? Ms. Washington said, I think Joey and Rachel had a great friendship chemistry, but after their first couple dates, I didn't see enough romance. I will say, Initially, I really thought that they had it. Something did, something did shift. It it did go friend zone really quickly. Um, I think so too. I'm I'm telling you, I feel like if these two met 
at like a surfing camp <laughs> where Joey was like the surfing instructor. Um, I think they would have worked. I think they would have worked. They they definitely give real world relationship. Um, Spitzy said, preach Nikki, this embarrassed me when women say you made me a better woman. I'm like, sister, what? I was, yeah, I was just like, Rachel. I know that I am going to be a much better partner in my relationship and that I'm going to have, and I'm going to look for a much better man because of what Joe taught me. What? What? Girl, no. Girl, no. The only thing you learn from dating straight men is how to use mace. Um, Kayla M said, Rachel seems like the girl that would have gotten married as soon as she was legal. Hey, oh my God. Oh, I don't get that from her. <laughs> that was so specific. Uh, Miss Brown Sugar said, Rachel is probably the best real world match based on how they seem to relate, but I want her to feel wanted and desired. And Joey wasn't giving her that. I agree. I agree. SL said, yep, her Instagrams were flooded with racist hate and people talking about Maria. It's definitely hard being outside of Hawaii. We barely have racist hate versus mainland, like she said. Really? It's, I'm sorry. This is so rude of me. Please correct me. But I remember watching Dog the Bounty Hunter and them people on that show was racist. <laughs> oh, they were racist. It was the, it was the whites. It was a lot of racism on here. Um, so I was I was shocked that she was like shocked with the racism she was receiving. Because I was like, I remember watching Dogs of Randy Hunter. But that's just a real, you know, that's not all of Hawaii. So I'll take your experience over that show. Miss Brown Sugar said, I couldn't even call out the explicit racism and try to, they sure, they, they absolutely all lives mattered it. And went to Sydney of all people? Sydney? Ah! Megan said, the producers... Thought they could sweep this under the rug by making it all inclusive about hate, but they got a ton of backlash and it was deserved. Absolutely. Book with me. <laughs> Not going to lie. I'm expensive. Um, SL said, at least a lot of the cast, past cast, Joey, supported her after she talked about the racist hate. They could have done more. Everybody could have done more. Joey holding her hand. Oh, I'm sorry you went through that. No, Joey, bring the camera close to you and cuss them all out. Let them know that you're going to be stabbing anybody that says anything mean about Rachel. Like, y'all can do more. Ryan said, Jenna's already getting dragged the night of the announcement. Yikes. She, oof, poor thing. Kayla said, The Bachelor won't ever stand on business from Rachel Lindsay to KKK Rachel to Joey's Rachel. <laughs> they haven't learned. They won't. Um... CR said, that's the same prep they did to Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton. Instead of acknowledging the racism Meghan received, they acknowledge hate Kate received when people ask where she was nasty. True. True. It's that Target. It's that Target. I went to the one in Marietta. So cute. <laughs> so cute. Um, how many of you have received hate? What, Jesse? They had a chance to denounce racism, but they didn't. Yep. This is the thing. Here's why they didn't. They know that fan base is racist. They know that fan base is racist. Then they're not going to chastise them. Absolutely not. Um, as I said, Maria would have been good TV, but producers would not be able to control her. So there's that. Yeah. That you're absolutely right. Um, a Maria season, we would have been fed. Fed, fed. Oh, absolutely. Maria's father and her brothers, cousins, aunties, delete Facebook. Delete Facebook. Delete Facebook now. Kayla said, considering Asian women are the most race group for women to date outside of their race, um, are we talking about Asian women as a whole or Asian American women? I wonder if Bachelor would give the same Matt James speech condemning Asian men if, uh, like they did Black women. Absolutely not. You know that won't happen. Can I tell you, remember we, when we were reviewing that show together and I was like, that speech killed that season for Matt. 
And ever since, since Jesse made that speech and Matt made that speech, that show went downhill. Downhill. Miss Brown Sugar said, I think Rachel Lindsay and Charity were both chosen specifically. Note both advanced degree professional women with perfect families who were cut above the rest of their cast twice as good. Yep. Uh, C said, I wanted to jump through that screen and give Rachel a big Southern grandma hug. She did not deserve that at all. Absolutely. At all. Johnny said, honestly, the way they handled Rachel reminded me of a Rachel and Gabby season. They had one of the guys who I like actually who had a bad pass from high school. Nikki, do you remember what I'm talking about? The way they handled Rachel reminded me of Rachel and Gabby season. I, no, I do not know. Y'all know once I review them shows, I forget everything. <laughs> In one ear and out the other. Ah, uh, she sure did. I was gagged by that. <laughs> Gag. Um, yeah, it's like rules and recipes. Um, Audrey L said, can we get some VPR or some traders rant, please? Um, Sheila doesn't have star power and struggle with her wedding dance. She choreographed, so it would be harder for her than Aerie. Oh, I forgot about that dancing with the stars episode. Yeah, I, I'll get into that. I might do it. You know what? I might be, re I might do a reality TV chat. We will see because I do want to talk about that. Um, she would never let me show it. <laughs> Bree, she did not talk on that season. She did not talk on that season. And she was getting all of them together. I was gagged. I said, not my sweet Edwina. <laughs> oh, Maria on Traders with Eve. She, I'm telling you guys, she's going to be everywhere. Maria is going to be everywhere. Uh, Amiria, what's up? Said, I was thinking that, that Joey wasn't over charity too. Because even his mama said that Joey thought he was the one for charity. Oh my God. Yikes. Um, um, Spency says she kept getting the bachelorette edit. I wanted the bachelor producers cut her off after her weird music video. I, something had to happen because the way that Daisy was filmed this season, very weird for her to not be the bachelorette. Very weird. Um, And there we have it. Kelsey, if this man's career takes off, like I said, get a New Orleans Saint on the line. <laughs> get a New Orleans Saint on the line. Daisy get in that bag. Daisy get in that bag. Um, Shawanda said it was said the reason why Daisy opted out um, to not let Joey work her out was because he would have seen Kelsey. She he would have seen Kelsey in the Uber XL. Oh, really? What you know, it's so much backstage tea I need to get. Hey Ramel, how are you? Sarah said, plenty of people still pull their eyes and think that it's just hilarious, like laugh out loud, funny. Corny ish agreed and said that guy that you just talked about getting bullied and thrown out of bachelor in paradise just got engaged a few weeks ago. <gasps> really? Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Sarah said, are we talking about the guy who got into his girl's car and she said, no, this is not your car. And the people thought they were over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that they got together. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. That was really cute. That was really cute. Um, Spitzy said, wait, I'm cackling at using mace. Girl, living in New York City, I can't leave the house without it. Listen, you got to do what you got to do. Especially in New York City, they punching women. Child. Laura said, in my opinion, we have tons of racism in Hawaii, especially anti-Black and anti-Micronesian. What's Micronesian? Look at me learning stuff on the show. I feel like I know what it is. I know it's not them blonde black kids. <laughs> Do y'all know what I'm talking about? 
there is a picture. This kid is probably 52 now. There is a picture of like three, I think it's Melanesian kids who have blonde hair. And so whenever there's like an argument that black people don't have blonde hair, they somebody uses a picture of them kids. <laughs> Every time. I think they're Melanesian. Or are they Micronesian? Micronesian, the Micronesian or Micronesian people are various closely related ethnic groups native to Micronesia, a region of Oceania and the Pacific Ocean. Are part of the Austronesian ethno-linguistic group, which has or Hamite or Hamid in Taiwan. Oh, I just confused myself. What? The region of Micronesia. Micronesia is a place? Look at me learning. Pacific Islanders refer to those who origins are the original people of Polynesia, Micronesia, or Malay, or Malay, or Malay, or Malaysian, Malay, Melanesia. Is that what melanin comes from? Are Micronesian Polynesians? Chow. They're, they're the original people of Polynesia. OMG. Oh, they're cousins of um, Hawaiians. Oh my God, let me go to Micronesia. the hell is Austronesian? My God, today, America, this education system is garbage. <laughs> Tanya said, better late than never. Love <laughs> that you came back to do this. Thank you, Nikki. You're so welcome. <laughs> Blue Jay said, it's funny you mentioned that. I remember having a discussion where I feel in heterosexual relationships, it's a weird parental where it seems the mama is the father figure while women are the little girls. What the hell did I say to make you say that, Blue Jay? I'm so sorry. I be on here talking. I be on here talking. Oh, are we talking about losing recipes? As I said, the majority of hate is towards the halos. Halos, white people and Micronesians. But of course, there's hate for everyone. To oh, wait a minute. Are white people in Hawaii the white, like white people in South Africa? <laughs> You know, I don't know why South Africans don't miss a chance to, to, to let us know that they're being discriminated against. Nora said, I agree. Joey's support of Rachel after she discussed the racism she faced was underwhelming. He was way too easy on the racist fans of Bachelor Nation. It's making me side eye Joey. Everybody could have done more, in my opinion. Rachel should not have done anything. Uh, Susan said, the couple on Bachelor Paradise driven off by the grocery store, by grocery store Joe was Chris and Alana. And they are the ones who got engaged recently. Amen. Amen. Oh, Blackface Eric. Who the hell is Blackface Eric? I feel like I talked about that and I just forgot. <laughs> I feel like I forgot about. The... Oh, so we are Melanesian. Yeah, the Solomon Island people. Them blind black. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Every time somebody says white black people can't um, have blonde hair, they throw out the Melanesian kids. Let me see if I can find. I'm going to type in black people with blonde hair and watch those kids. Wait, let me do it on my phone. Watch those kids come up. Watch the. I got to um, study more about Micronesia now. Watch those kids come up. Every time. That's the first freaking picture. <laughs> every time every time my god today this kid has to be 57 has to be oh um, every time every everywhere Every black person has that saved because they are ready for the argument that we can't that we can't have natural blonde hair. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
Love Like You Are said, there's a 14-year-old Melanesian boy on Twitter now, and he just talks about his people. I was shocked as hell when I saw that. Oh, is, is it in a good way? Girl, Laura, it's too much information. Give me a minute. <laughs> what? Give me a minute. Um, because the real history of how Hawaii became a U.S. state, that's why lots of people discriminate against. Oh, okay. Well, there it is. Hey, Toya Star, how are you? Um, the ranting shot was upset. That couldn't be the furthest from black every time, every time. You know what I was watching? Um, <laughs> we always have these, <laughs> these lines always go some, somewhere. Um, I was watching and I have to get back to it. It's a documentary on TikTok about shoot. What are these people's names? Indigenous Australians, what are their names? There is this lady, um, damn it, what are the what are their names? What is this community called? Indigenous Australians. But basically, they they identify as black, right? And this lady who is from this community is reclaiming like her culture and trying to get her people recognized. And um, and like when she was like talking about her people and saying black, I was like, oh my gosh, you're black. Oh, it, okay. <laughs> I did not know, but that's like how they identify Aborigin Aborigines. I didn't know, but that's like how they identify, they identify as black. And I'm like, are we in the same family? Because I listen. Yes, he may look like a cousin, but how close closely related are we? Well, remember I told you about my um, my Filipino coworker who said that I look like her Malaysian um, Melanesian. Fijian, no Fijian. I'm, you know what? I'm all over the place. Forgive me. Let me move out of it. <laughs> she said I look just like her. She uh, lived in Fiji. She said, she said you look just like my neighbor. I was like, oh, really? Because I didn't know what Fijians look like at that time. And I was like, oh, really? And then I looked up Fijians. And I was like, oh, oh my god. But are we related? Ciao. Look at us learning. Thank you, Bachelor Nation. Some people said their hair doesn't even stay blonde. It looks like 4C hair when they grow up. Don't tell this to the Black community. <laughs> Laura said, it's not even that rare. My Sol 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 Solomon Islander friend's daughter is blonde. So cute. I will say, th this kid is a cutie, though, isn't he? Oh, my God. Now I'm, I'm, I'm starting to become a delusional African-American because... Could this be my son? D I'm, wait a minute. Or don't we kind of look alike? What's happening? Let me stop looking at that picture. See, now, now I'm a part of the craziness. Now I'm a part of the craziness. OMG. Oh, did anybody send me those pictures? Let me check my messages. This ain't Texas. Sammy, thank you. This is from Reality Steve. So this is one of the guys, Aaron, 29. Okay. Austin, 28. Oh, he's cute. Brendan, how old is Jen? 29. Oh, Brent, okay. We got a big boy. Brian, 32, Florida. Ooh. White man from Florida. Corbin, 25. Oh, there's the actor. There's the actor. Oh, Dakota. Dakota's a cutie. Devin, Texas. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, D Dylan. Dylan, 24. Oh, Grant. Okay. Y'all ain't tell me, um, y'all ain't tell me, y'all tell me black people was on the show. Hakeem. I know that's right. Hakeem, we got two Hakeems. Who were they picking for? 
Jahan, 28. Guys, this is kind of diverse. Jeremy, 29. Ja okay, y'all. No, y'all said it was all white men. Jonathan. Oh, he's a cutie. Jo Jonothon. Okay. Another actor. Kevin, 35. Hold up. Wait a minute. How old is Jen? Marcus, 30. Mark Wait, Marcus. Is that a biracial? Marvin. How many Negro? Oh, okay. <laughs> Cute. Another Matt. Biracial. Okay. Wait a minute, y'all. No, this is diverse. Y'all look Ricky. Y'all lied to me. Y'all said it was all white guys. It's all mm -hmm. <laughs> hey Sam. 20 Sam. That's a hard 26. Oh, another Sam. Guys, this is diverse. Y'all were lying. Oh, Spencer. Okay. T uh, 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 uh. Tom Tomas. 31. Another Tomas, 26. Uh-uh, this is diverse, y'all. This is diverse. Y'all were lying. It's a lot of, Jen. <laughs> Wait, Jen, do we have a, do we have a time? Because what's going on? <laughs> Thank you, Toya Star. My skincare secret for the summer is sunscreen and setting powder in your shade. That's all you need, ladies. Um, wow. Yes, thank you. Now I remember the white boy with the curly mullet. Now I remember. Now I remember. Yeah, and they were there first, Spency. Ain't that something? I, I got to finish that documentary. I love, like you are said, he talks about his people in a good way, but he mentions how people racialize Malaysian people as black, but he also gets harassed by Twitter dummies for saying that. Oh, poor baby. Get, baby, get off of Twitter. You too young. Um, okay. Fijians are Melanesian, and a lot of Fijians... What? Wow. AJ said they call themselves black with a K or black fella, which is what the indigenous Australian uh, black fella. I wish what if that's not a don't have me on here saying something I shouldn't be saying. Um, some people said you and that Nigerians Congolese man son. Huh? <laughs> what are you saying? What are we saying? Who is the Nigerian Congolese man? What? But don't he look like my son, Nicholas? Oh my God, is this Nicholas? <laughs> oh my God, look at Nicholas. Oh my God. <laughs> Delusional. I'm I'm right there with him. So that look like my baby. Um, don't send me down a rabbit hole because you already know them, them, them Samoan boys got me in a chokehold. Um, Miss Brown Sugar said you could have blonde four C hair. My cousins who are regular Black American two parents descended from enslaved with blonde hair with red hair. We can be all colors and textures. Oh, true, true. It's not common, but yeah, there's a, we we all got a little a blonde or especially a redhead. We get more redheads. And the Black American community, we get more redheads than blondes, but there's definitely uh, natural, natural blonde Black people. Um, two Hakeem's, guys, y'all were lying to me. That is a very diverse cast. That is a very diverse cast. Thank you. Now wait a minute, Jen. <laughs> What's going on, girl? <laughs> What's going on? I will say. It's diverse, but there there can't be one Asian guy on the show. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we got to mix up. Can we get some Melanesians? Wait, are they not Asian? No, I don't think they're Asian. Who are, who are dark-skinned Asian? Yeah, can we get some Vietnamese people? 
do Filipinos identify as Asian? The only reason why I asked that is because I had a manager at the Gap when I used to work at the Gap on 34th Street. And the way she would talk about Asian women was like real derogatory. And I was like, I was so confused. She was like acting like she was Hispanic. And I was like, but aren't you She Filipina. So I was like, are they Spanish Asian people? I was, I, I was 19, so I, I really didn't know. But do Filipinos identify as Asian? I think we need to get diverse within the Asian community. I think that would, that would be smart. Oh. Um, one the mill 87 said the cultural history lessons we learned <laughs> immediately. Immediately. OMG. I'm telling you guys, uh, the majority of the history that I have learned, uh, I have learned from the History Channel. American schools didn't teach me half the stuff that I know. I learned from the History Channel. Um, Miss Brown Sugar said, okay, so the one clearly East Asian guy has a Vietnamese last name. That's something. This is the thing. If we do, we, I hope they cast more Asian men. I don't think we should just be East Asian. I think we need to mix it up. Mix it up. Um, SL said, Nikki, have you been keeping up with 90 Day? Yes. <laughs> um, I heard Michael is in the US now and left Angela. I remember he like disappeared for a minute. I, Michael and Angela, I'm not getting into them. I'm not getting into them. That couple is uncomfortable. It's very... Listen, I I, I'm, I I say I'm gonna have to say the same thing that I say to my Nigerian sisters and to my Samoan sisters. I'm gonna just have to find out for myself. <laughs> I'm gonna just have to find out for myself. I know what y'all said about them, but I'm just gonna have to find out for myself. It's too much quality. It's too much quality there. The face cards aren't declining. Um, v said Rachel got hate because Maria fans felt like she was being rude to her at the rose ceremony. What? Get out of here. Yeah, a natural redhead. Um, Blue Jay said, who knows, Nikki? We might see you in a video from your home here, Carolina. <laughs> Me and Nicholas. That's my son. That's my son. That's my son. Oh, so I've heard. So I've heard. Don't we have one South Asian on the on the show? I think Namir, right? I think he was South Asian. SL said Filipinos are Asian, but some like to say that. Oh my God. Also, a lot of Filipinos are mixed with Spanish from the ones I know. So maybe my manager was a Spanish Filipino who was discriminate, discriminating against Asians. Because the conversations, I would be like, if I would have known then what I know now, I would have been reporting her to HR. She was a horrible manager. But like she was saying like racist stuff against Asian people, and I should have reported her to HR. But I was a baby. I didn't know what to do. I just wanted the job. <laughs> Iranians, I know that's right. This is a very diverse cast, not diverse within the Asian community, but just you know, we got some. Why, why have we had an Iranian on this show? D Sri Lankan, yes. Let's mix it up. Let's mix it up. SL said one Asian, one possibly mixed Asian, and a couple of Southeast Asians. From what it looks like, um, we need more. Like, come on. Even if, no shade, Jen, even if your type is not Asian, man, this ain't about you. This is media. We're having a much bigger conversation. Um, we need the platform hot men of the Asian community. Um, Adriana said, I had a Nigerian for I had a Nigerian for six weeks. Play me like a fiddle, and I thought he was different. <laughs> the horror stories I hear. One of my friends is Nigerian, and she's like, Nikki, no. And I'm like, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> SL said that baby is just my baby. That's my baby. <laughs> That's my boy. That is my boy. Um, Bree, so allegedly she turned it down because of the hate that she received. And you know what? I I get it. Like that would make sense. I it, the, from what she was going through and how she was handling it at the reunion, oh, Rich is in therapy. I really, really do. I think, again, I feel like she's somebody who never experienced racism on that scale. And to like not really have racist experiences and to then have it all at once like this has to mess with your mental. 
I really hope that she's getting help and I hope the show is funding it. Yikes. This is why I feel like Bachelor Nation needs to choose older people for their shows. One, because you're just going to get results from older people. You're going to get results from older people. You keep on hiring people who are 23. Now, Jen sees it. We got a whole 35 year old. I'm like, oh, this makes sense. But how old is Jen? Um, no shade. I don't, I don't think a 26 year old woman should be dating a 35 year old. <laughs> what? No shade. Um, <laughs> but that, that was, that was a little bit big of a leap for me, but I just feel like you'll just get more results with older people. I think you need to probably start at about 33. Um, but that's just me. That's me. That's just me. Guyana. Are they Asian? Oh my God. Shout out to anybody just tuning in. Guy, guy am I thinking of Guyanese? Guyana. Ain't that um Clay? Ain't that his people? They ain't Asian. These people are black. Oh, wait, is it? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God. Yes. This is the um. I was just watching the president. I was watching the video of the president from Guy Guyana. Am I saying it right? Oh, he got that BBC um, interviewer together. He said, you cannot let your me. I said, I know that's right. Yeah. He's giving um, South Asian to me. Oh, wow. Guy, Guy oh my God. So <laughs> Damn you, America. <laughs> Damn you. Um, SL said, ironic how now there's people saying they wish it was Rachel instead of Jen. You can never, you can never please the masses. Um, Ms. Brunson said the Philippines were colonized by Spain, but they are right near the Indonesian and Vietnamese, uh, South Viet Vietnam, Southeast Asia. This would be very interesting. Look at this history lesson that I'm getting. Can you imagine? Can you imagine all these different cultures on this show? But see, then we have to have men from those cultures who are willing to go on this show. That's another thing. Johnny's Action Channel said, man, this conversation got me <laughs> tongue tied. Love learning. Right? We're learning so much here. Learning so much. We are. Look at us. Now we in Guyana. Um, Love Like You Are said they have a large, oh, they have a large Asian community. You know what this is? You know what I feel like? I feel this is sending me back. To that moment when I when I met that Chinese Jamaican girl, <laughs> y'all remember that story? She cussed me out because I just kept on staring at her because, like, I'm, I was a kid. When you think of Jamaican, you think of black people. I did not know that like there's a really nice sized Asian community in Jamaica, and she did not like the fact that I was just mesmerized by her presence. I'll never forget that girl. The way she cussed me out. I'm like, can you give me a break? I've never seen a Chinese Jamaican before. Hold on, mama. Like, why you gotta be so nasty? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna talk about it. I'm probably gonna talk about it in the reality TV chat. I was gonna do Summer House by itself, but I feel like there's so many shows that we need to catch up on. So I think tomorrow I might just do one reality TV chat at like 12 or two Eastern Standard Time and talk about it then. Um, Miss Brown Sugar said, I was rooting for Rachel or Jen, but Rachel feels more established in her career. I don't blame her for not trusting the powers that be to protect her. I would have liked Rachel as well. However, seeing what she endured, I, I don't want that for her. I wouldn't want it for Jen, but you know, we're here now. We're here now. No shade. I always felt like they should keep the leads of this show white because they just don't know how to handle excuse me, they don't know how to handle um, people of color leads. They just do not know how to do it. Every people of every person of color has had a terrible, has had to talk about racism, has had to talk about how this fan base is so nasty to them. And the show drops the ball every time. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't want to sound like a conservative, but keep bachelor white. It's like, that's the only that, that's the only thing that they can deal with. They can't handle any other culture. They really can't. And I'm just like, I'm not ready for the horror stories from Jen. 
I am not ready for that. Um, yes, I was going to talk about that too. So yeah, I wanted to reality TV chat. I'm just going to talk about all those shows. Why not? Um, we're going to end here. Oh, wait, I think I got a super chat too. No, I think I got my super chat, right? I got my super chat. If not, I'll read it again. Miss Brown Sugar said, do y'all remember when Ivan checked Tasia for never meeting a black Filipino before? Yes. <laughs> he was like, in the LC, we're deep in Orange County. Yes, I do remember that. I remember that. Um, and that was the first of many culture clashes between them. Friendly, but obviously different worlds. Yeah. I, uh, absolutely different worlds. I don't know if I got the super chat, but if I did, I'll read it again. Uh, SL said, happy that you're back. Hate um, that Rachel and Jen are getting lots of racist hate because uh, the love people have for Maria Strong. Always thought she killed it on Bachelor in Paradise over Bachelorette. I agree. Thank you so much for the super chat. And if I said it twice, why not? You're worth it. Um, let me get out of here, y'all. Um, wait a minute. This was good. SL said, I remember there being a bachelor somewhere in Asia where two of the contestants, oh, was that the bachelor? I think it was the, the lesbians. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to leave SL. The, was, it, was it the Japanese lesbians? I remember, it was so emotional. I remember that. She was like, I have to say this. And she turned to that girl and they just started crying. We'll never get that on American Bachelor. That would have been something. They tried it with Demi, but they like exploited her so much. It just, it, it landed flat. It landed flat. This is a good comment to end on. Johnny's acting channel said, let's pray Jen gets a beautiful, smooth season. They waited a long time for this. Demon be gone. In Jesus name, we pray. Let Jen have a, um, a good season. She deserves it. Fingers crossed. Anyway, family, let me get out of here. I will see you all tomorrow, probably at 12 or 2. No, you know what? I might just do it later. What's tomorrow? Wednesday? I might do it later. Either earlier or later. Um, but we're just going to do a reality TV chat. We're going to talk about Summer House Seeking Sister Wife. Um, what was the other one? Vanderpump Rules. You know what? I think I might throw Vanderpump Villa in there as well. That show looks good. That show looks good. Yeah, let's do a reality TV chat. All right, family. I love y'all, and I will see y'all soon for something else. Bye.